Hey guys, what's up? It's FeefG49 here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do the easiest way to trade for coins, easy coins, FIFA 19, FIFA 20, however you like it. We're going to show you how to get coins without putting in much effort at all. So with that, we're just going to jump right into it and show you these trading tips. My last video was showing the trading tips that you can do before FIFA 20 comes out, before that September 27th day, which it was last year. I don't know if it's the same day this year. That was consumable squat fitnesses and chemistry styles. But this is going to be pretty much any time throughout the year. FIFA 19, you can use it now. It won't be as effective as it will be at the beginning of FIFA 20. So let's jump into it. So the basis, the basis behind this is finding players with chemistry styles. And it's going to be kind of your base players that are okay but not the best. So someone that like I'm talking about this year who will work pretty well next year is a Danny Welbeck. Let's go and look at his card. Danny Welbeck. We look at him here. Very cheap card, left mid, 80 pace, 74 shooting, 6-1. Very good card here for the beginning of the game. He's going to be in demand very much. But people are going to want to put a chemistry style on him, and what people want to put on him is a hunter which will give him three pace arrows and three shooting. Now, Danny Welbeck's price right now is about 600 coins right there. Now, I don't know if this will affect him since he's such a low value player right now, but we'll see what he is with a hunter. There probably isn't many with hunters on, is there? All right, so there are none with hunters, it looks like. Okay, there are. No. Okay, so let me give you the idea behind this, and then I'm going to try and find a player that we can do this with. The idea is that Danny Welbeck's with Hunters are going to be going for a certain buy now. Let's just call it, it's going to be about 4k for a Danny Welbeck with a Hunter, if he's going for 600 coins. Because a Hunter is about 4k, so they're just going to sell it for this much. The idea behind it is that you can find these Danny Welbecks with Hunters on bid very easily because no one pays attention to the chemistry style, which is absolutely massive. So let me see if I can find, say, maybe a higher value player we can do this with, like an Alex Witzel. Let's find his price here. It's always looking at about 13,000 coins there, yeah. Now, what if we looked for him with a shadow? These are all disappeared. Go up, 16,000 coins. These are all gone. As you can see, there are none of them. Obviously, these are all gone. They're just there showing up. Still, these ones are just non-existent. <laughs> all right, we're up to about 20K almost, and there are none of him with a shadow. So the idea behind this is you can find him on bid for his normal price without a shadow card. There are none of them on here right now because he has a special card in packs, obviously. But so you're going to bid on a player with the chemistry style, say for, let me give you an, let me try and lay this out for you here. So you have a Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford may sell for, let's say... 3,000 coins his normal card is selling for. We're just making this up as we go. So if Marcus Rashford is selling for 3,000 coins, let's say with a hunter he's selling for 7,000 coins. If someone lists a Marcus Rashford up with a hunter on open bid, you can win that for 3,000 coins and then sell them for up to 7,000. It's really easy really 
really just no stress. You just get to bid. You can do it on the web app. You can do it on the companion app. You can do it on the game. It's really easy. So that's the idea is buying players for cheap with chemistry styles and selling them for more. Now the second trading method we're going to show you is really only valid at the beginning of the game because of how expensive almost all players are at the beginning of the game. But it is really reliable and you need to try this one. So one of the really good ones is say you go for Premier League midfielder. You wanna, the idea here is you get a filter going and you can snipe multiple players at the same time. So if you have like a an English midfielder from Liverpool, at the beginning of the game, the, these guys are all going to be three, 4,000 coins. Wow, even now they're 1,500 coins, and there's so many of them. You've also got Lalana, Milner, Oxlade-Chamberlain. There's probably one I'm forgetting in there as well. Who's in their starting lineup? They have Keita and whatnot. Henderson, duh. So if you do this, then you can sit here. They were 1,500 coins. You can sit here and try and snipe them for 1,000 coins, and you're sniping for four players at once all that you can sell for more. It's one of the easiest, easiest way to make coins. The problem that a lot of, the issue that a lot of people have is they'll sit here and they'll try and snipe one player. They're, they'll put in Jordan Henderson, they'll check his price. Let's see where Jordan Henderson is at. Jordan Henderson's about 2,500 coins. And they'll set it down to about 1,800 coins and sit here and try and snipe Jordan Henderson. But the much more efficient way to do it is to set a filter for multiple, multiple players at a position, a nation, and a club. And you can snipe them all for a certain price and you're gonna make profit on, ev on every single one. And if you do, see, the lowest price for these guys is about 1500 for Milner and Oxley chamberlain And then if, say, you do get a Henderson, you're making big-time money because he's he's a 1,000 coins more than them. And another great example I have for you guys, which I used at the beginning of this game and I made so many coins off of, was Chelsea center backs. I would sit here and try and snipe Chelsea center backs. And it, it was early in the game. David Luiz was going for about 40K. And I was sitting here sniping Christensen, Rudiger for very low price and then one time I got a David Louise just someone happened to list him up in the range I was trying to snipe these other guys for and I sniped that David Louise got about 40 to 50 thousand coins off of him so that's the big advantage from this is that you're able to use multiple players in this and a lot of times if you hit those big money players you're making a ton of coins so if you're putting the time in then you are getting a lot out of this now the last one I want to do is we want to talk about league SBCs I, I did this a lot at the beginning of this game it wasn't this specific league but I did this one recently and it worked out really well it's similar to the last method I showed you but it's slightly different So for this trading method, okay, so I can't look at it right now because I have it completed, which is kind of annoying, but the one I like to use was Dortmund. So you'll go into a league SVC and you'll look at these teams and you'll try to find a specific area in a team in which the players are expensive. And what I mean by this is that for Dortmund, every single gold midfielder for Dortmund was about... 1700 coins when I was doing this so and there's four or five of them I think so what I would do is since there's 1700 coins each I would just go for the big money so wow this is quite annoying I would set this to midfield I would go over to the Bundesliga I would put this on Dortmund gold and I would sit here and I would set this to 1000 and I would just sit here and I would snipe all of these guys they would be going for I'd get one every 30 seconds probably sell them on for 500 coins obviously there's gonna be some competition because this is not a super private method but this is it's not a very popular one either which is why I want to share it with you very very good method 
another one that I believe I did, so that's the one, Dortmund midfielders. If that comes out, FIFA 20, that could also be a big money SBC sniping. Let's see. Let's look at the league SBCs and see if we can find another one for you guys. Probably one of these if I have them completed. Um, oh, there is the Russian League or one of these right-wingers. I believe it was the Russian League or something like that. What are the rewards here? Oh, yes, it was this. It was when... I don't think it was Pivon, but it was a winger that came out. And one of these Argentinian teams, the center backs, there were four center backs from the team... And all of them were about 7,000 coins. So I would just sit there with a filter, 5,000 coins. Let me just give you an example so you can visualize it. So say all four of these center backs are going for at least 7K. I would just sit here. I'd put center back. I believe the Argentinian league is at the back end here. Yes. And just say it's this club, Belgrano. I would just sit here, set this to 5,000 coins, and I would just try and snipe right there set this high just boom 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 obviously it's not this club because they're going to show up i mean it's pretty close this is still pretty good could buy him up but it doesn't look like many people are doing this sbc he's been there 19 minutes it's pretty late it's 1 a.m eastern so 6 a.m over in the uk not many people on anywhere in the world right now but yeah that's the idea is you find either just teams like i showed you with Liverpool, where there's a lot of players in a similar position where you can snipe them all at once. Or you want to find a league SBC where it's not necessarily good players, but it's players that are still high value because they have something they're worth and they're all in a similar position. So the main idea with those two methods is that you set a certain filter so you can snipe multiple players at once instead of sitting here trying to snipe one guy like trying to snipe a Jordan Henderson. You can snipe all English Liverpool midfielders. And that's going to be it for this video today, I believe, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be bringing as many trading tip videos as I can to you because FIFA 19 is coming to an end here. It's currently July 11th, I believe. And... I want to bring you as many trading tips as I can because with FIFA 20 coming up, you want to get off to that quick start. You want to get your account going as quickly as possible. So make sure you're watching all of my videos because I'm going to be telling you the order to do things in. Like my consumables video you're going to want to do first. My next one, this video would probably be second in the order. You're going to want to do the first method I showed you with the chemistry style players right at the beginning because people want to get those chemistry styles on the lesser players to make them better. And then this one I'm showing you now, the League SBCs is obviously a later game thing because those don't all come right at the beginning. We might get two of them and then it probably wait three weeks to get two more. But you're going to want to watch all of these. I'll tell you when to do it, how to do it, and I will ensure you that you're going to make coins. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. And I'll catch you all later. Thanks for watching.